Hey, you're born professionals. We have some new job opportunities here for you today. These are all going to be work from home jobs. Let's go ahead though and check out this new feature that we added. It's going to be a typing speed test completely free. You can just head over to our job board, remoteprofessionalnetwork.com. Feel free to use this. The paragraph will change every time that you actually start typing something and finish the test. It'll give you rewards per minute and the time it actually took you to finish the actual um, phrase up there. And so go ahead. If you're someone that's looking for a data entry job, or maybe you're looking for a live chat support job, you can take that test and use the uh, words per minute inside your resume. All right. So it's a pretty basic functionality, but just so you guys can practice a little bit and play around with that, that can be helpful for your uh, job applications. The first job that we're going to get into today is going to be a customer success advocate level one for the company Lumen. This is a fully work from home job. It's going to be a full-time position. 30,000 to about 67,500 per year. And let's go over the role. The role is going to be a customer facing role that ensures their small business and medium sized customers are wildly successful and delivering on their critical business objectives through leveraging their Lumen solutions. You're going to implement customer success plans using standardized journeys. You're going to leverage and manage overall customer metrics. You're going to evaluate current product and portal adoption maturity levels. You're, they really want you to know the Lumen portfolio offerings well enough to recognize a potential opportunity to expand and basically upsell the account and ask appropriate questions to further qualify the opportunity, partnering closely with sales. So basically, if you see an opportunity when you're working with the customer guys, talk to the customer about it and then just kick that up to the sales team for a new lead for them, okay? This one, they want you to implement the revenue management practices, driving accountability, communicate, escalate, and drive mitigation plans cross-functionally to de-risk accounts, handle urgent customer concerns, partner with sales delivery and support, and they want you to be responsible for renewal and re-rate implementations via contract, end date management, leveraging renewals, and a few other things there. As far as what they're looking for, they're looking for two years of customer service experience, a bachelor's degree or equivalent work experience, experience working with and supporting enterprise customers and responding to needs. Enterprise customers, guys, if you're getting experience working with enterprise customers, that's going to be great to have on your resume. Those are the biggest customers that you're going to have. We're talking like most likely Fortune 500, Fortune 100 companies, and that's going to be very valuable experience to have on your resume. Typically, what you'll do is you'll work your way up in your career from small business to mid-level, and then to enterprise and enterprise is where you really start raking in the money. That's where you start probably crossing six figures at some point. So definitely a good, uh, if you're someone out there looking to put some wins on your resume, this wouldn't be a bad position to apply to. And also keep in mind guys, before we even go on, keep in mind that the, the, what they're looking for in a candidate, this is a wish list. You don't have to check off every single thing here, but if you check off most of them, you should be good to go and uh, applied to the job, okay? So they want you to have strong communication skills, uh, problem-solving skills, technical aptitude to learn basics of data networking technologies, products, and features, a high level of accuracy and attention to detail, ability to prioritize and respond to customer data points, prioritize high-volume tasks, and the ability to learn various softwares, and knowledge of Microsoft Office Suite. So that's going to be Excel, Word, PowerPoint, etc., this looks like a good opportunity to you guys for someone if you're looking to break into the IT field. Uh, Lumen works with a lot of uh, stuff related to that. So I know it's not directly related to you know what you're going to be using, but it could be a great way to break into just that general field. So again, here we see the salary range is going to be about 30375 to 67500 So it sounds like you might be getting some uh, bonuses and commission guys if you actually upsell these accounts and a few other things there. All right, let's go ahead and look at the next remote job opening. This one is going to be a claims coordinator with the company Zealous. This is going to be a full-time position, so you can expect benefits with this one as well. The role of the claims coordinator is responsible for assisting the out-of-network services department and the daily operational claims processes. You're going to be responsible for distributing, repricing, and processing claims while adhering to all turnaround time requirements. You're going to be responsible for processing particular claim types. They want you to identify and discuss with management claims that might have alternative saving solutions, assist in monitoring daily claim volume, EDI, and manual to address any potential issues, 
They want you to assist in monitoring and processing non-acceptances periodically throughout the day and a few other uh, things you're going to be doing there. For this one, you just need a high school, uh, high school diploma or GED is going to be required. One to three years of related claims processing experience. Demonstrated expertise in processing out-of-network claims to maximize revenue for zealous. Outstanding, so basically just your soft skills. And this one, guys, it doesn't give a salary range, but we did look, and it looks like it's Glassdoor estimates about fifty dollars to $70,000 for this one. And again, you're going to have your 401k. You're going to have your health insurance, dental, vision, et cetera, with that job as well. All right. So let's go ahead. We have a few more job openings that popped up. And so let's go with this, the operations analyst level two. Lumen, again, this is a Lumen is uh, posting quite a few. Uh, so we have $46,000 is going to be about your starting range, the 103000 So obviously, if you have more experience, you're going to hit that uh, higher range. About this position, this position performs basic to intermediate analysis and works closely with the business clients to identify core business issues to map out possible solutions. So the mapping is used to develop the business case for action, defining the need, the method, and the benefits of proposed solutions. This position is going to undertake basic analysis. Whoops, that's fine. To so contribute to the development of the detailed requirements of the solution, satisfy the business needs. And as far as the responsibilities go, where you're going to do here is you're going to maintain or sustain customer base by resolving the issues that have failed their processes, assist with identifying permanent solutions, support chronic customer account cases, you're going to collaborate with and assisting other departments, troubleshoot, you know, basic, you know, basic issues that you're having with the customers. All right. Whoopsies. Let's go ahead and keep going. Provide the root cause. What they look for in a candidate for this one is going to be a bachelor's degree, three to five years of experience, expert Microsoft Office skills, experience in analytics, analytical and decision-making skills, strong communication skills, and a few other soft skills here, guys. All right, so again, this one is going to be 46000 to about 103000 And let's go back here and look at We have a bunch of jobs, guys, so stick around for these. We have some more entry-level positions coming, too. This is going to be a full-time position as a technical support specialist for a company called Knowledge City. You're going to resolve technical inquiries for clients by working with the web development team and inquirers. You're going to provide operation and troubleshooting support for clients and employees as well. You're going to analyze and report issues to the uh, development team and ensure they are prioritized and resolved accordingly. You'll provide updates and create accounts, uh, updates on the accounts. Qualifications, they just want you to have a strong understanding of web technologies and structure. Strong communication skills will definitely be a plus. The ability to learn new software functions. They want you to learn new technical processes and services with ease and retain information. They'd also like you to have the ability, ability to work with various software with ease, Zendesk, Jira, Bitbucket, Slack, Outlook, Word, Google Suite, experience with database structures, SQL, uh, PHP, MyAdmin, queries, et cetera. Previous experience in a help desk client support position. Again, so if you're in the IT world, uh, this might be a good one for you. And as far as uh, benefits go, 100% remote, 10 holidays, 10 days of PTO, 401k plan, so that's definitely good for your retirement, health, dental, and vision, and 40 hours per week, full-time position. All right, a few other ones. Let's go to this user rep uh, support representative for assurance. This is a an insurance company, guys. Uh, this is going to be a full-time position, $38,000 to about $41,000 per year. As far as this one goes, about the role, you're going to be working behind the scenes to assist the agents as they provide a great experience to the shopper. As a user support representative, you're at the core of the support team. You're going to be working to assist uh, their users through a myriad of inquiries. Customer service courtesy and, co and compassion will always be the top of mind for you as you'll be working directly with our agents. Sorry about this, guys. I don't know what's going on with that. We're just going to keep going now. All right. So the key responsibilities, provide enthusiastic and personalized service to assurance users, maintain expert level knowledge of assurance platform with the ability to assist users, maintain ownership and a few other things. And as far as what they'd like from you, they'd like you to have two to three years of customer support experience assisting users through chat and or email. 
the ability to remain professional and courteous with assurance users at all times, great organizational skills, excellent attention to detail, and the ability to work in a fast-paced environment. And they'd also like you to be able to work occasional nights, holidays, and weekends. So if you're someone, guys, that you have an open schedule, make sure you note that somewhere. That's going to be a big plus for you when you're applying. All right, and we have just a few more to go, guys. All right, so we'll have about three more jobs to go here. This one is going to be remote for folks in Arizona, California, and Colorado. Going to be a remote customer service representative. This one is going to pay about almost $17 per hour to $22.87. This one is going to be First American is a pretty big company, guys, so that immediately gives you some options to move throughout your career. And as far as this goes, the Connected Investors Customer Success Group is on a mission to help customers achieve investment goals. So you're going to be working a lot in the finance area, guys. So that could be a good opportunity for you there. As far as what you're going to do, they want you to have a positive attitude. Make sure the customer knows that you're the main point of contact. Be responsible for communicating product improvement suggestions. Answer customer emails, phone calls, and live chat consistently during your you know, working hours. Complete a welcome call with new members of the community, review discussions, comments, and messages from the moderation page every day, respond to the forum questions and comments to increase engagement and get to know the customers. They'd also like you to adhere to the weekly schedule and some things that you're going to be using. They'd like you to have a general and technical knowledge of company products, proficient Microsoft Office skills, Salesforce CRM knowledge, must be able to navigate a computerized data system uh, pretty well. And you just need a high school degree for this one or equivalent required. Generally speaking, you're going to have two years of experience. This is an entry-level position, guys. So you don't have to worry about this one. And this is going to pay, again, $16.70 to $22.87 per hour. And we're going to we're gonna get through this, guys. Sorry about the uh, pop-ups. This one is a customer experience associate with Figo Pet Insurance. There's no salary range for this one, guys, but I would estimate probably between forty to 50000 the customer experience associate is responsible for helping Figo maintain and grow the culture of industry best customer care by providing quality and efficient customer service. As you can tell, P uh, Figo is a pet insurance company. You can learn more about them there. But as far as this actual position goes, what you're going to be doing is you're going to manage a high volume of calls, chats, emails, and texts, identify and assess customer needs, keep records of customer interactions using Salesforce, and a few other things here. As far as your responsibilities go, the position does not have any superv supervisory responsibilities. So you're just going to be responsible for yourself. And they it looks like just pretty much your basics in customer service. Be organized. Love pets. This is a pet insurance company. Be comfortable speaking with vet staff and policyholders. This could be good experience, guys, if you're looking to uh, break into the animal side of things. Working with the vet staff would be a good experience there. That means you're going B2B, which typically drives a higher salary and pay throughout your career professional friendly patient ability to collaborate with others excellent work habits including a willingness to work the hours necessary to get the job done manage projects outside of crust customer service role as well which is great so you can kind of uh, get some experience on your resume well versed in microsoft office and they'd like you to have a bachelor's degree or similar administrative experience so this is not required if you have some other experience that will uh take place of the degree as well. And two years of experience in customer service will be great. And the last job we're gonna cover right now today, guys, is going to be a customer success manager with EasyPost. This one does not have a salary range, but it looks like it's about 50 to $80,000 per year as well. In this role, you're gonna be the primary responsibility of the success manager is to be an advocate for the customer with internal stakeholders at EasyPost. You're going to build trust with the companies by being actively engaged and helping them grow. A CSM is able to build and show value to customers using the Easy, pla uh, Easy Post platform. What you're going to do, work with clients to prevent churn. So basically, they want to make sure that you're not, uh, the you're going to be working with customers. You want to make sure that they don't leave the platform. That you, your job is going to be to get them to use Easy Post more. You're going to identify customer needs and growth plans to help expand the customer footprint with, within EasyPost stack of services, escalate issues, conduct weekly, monthly, quarterly check-ins, have the hard conversations, maintain customer data, collect data from the customers to give back, 
and work to delight the customers throughout their journey. About you, they'd like you to have two to five years of experience in a customer facing role, demonstrate a track record of effectively decreasing churn, increasing revenue and wowing the customers. They'd like you to have the proven ability to work unsupervised or as a team member of both the local office team and wider company teams. They'd like you to be a self-starter with initiative, drive and strong desire to succeed. Previous experience working in shipping and logistics is going to be a plus. And if you have experience with Salesforce and Zendesk, that's going to be great as well. What they offer, medical, dental, vision, and life insurance, competitive compensation package and equity, a 401k with a match, which is always what you want, guys, especially if you're planning to retire. That's going to be big for you there. Make sure this is not financial advice, but when if you do get a position that's a 401k with a match, always at least donate up to the match to get your free money. All right. Then they also offer monthly work from home stipend of $50 per month, flexible work schedule and PTO, collaborative culture with a supportive team, great place to work with unlimited career opportunities, opportunity to make massive comp- contributions at a hyper growth company, and the ability to make an impact on product, helping ship millions of packages per day. All right. And let's do, let's do one more guys. This one is going to be a customer technology coordinator with the company Lumen. This is gonna be a fully work from home job. In this role, the position involves providing general written and verbal customer support for Lumen customers and partners with single contact resolution. The customer technology coordinator will provide the support of the learn by experience and enterprise portal through timely and accurate communications on every interaction. Again, if you're working with enterprise companies, guys, this is gonna be a great position for you too. That's really what you want as far as your career goes. Once you start working enterprise, you're going to see, you should start seeing your salary and your just overall pay increase pretty drastically. You're going to provide quoting support through digital experience, technical support, and navigation, coordinate and respond to large volumes of inbound chats, calls, cases, orders, or tickets, provide accurate, valid, and complete information. This position is going to be responsible for good quoting and portal experience. You're going to utilize the current systems to properly authenticate customer and solve the issues identify customer needs, build trust with the customers and a few other just relatively, you know, usual things. And as far as what they want from you, a high school degree or equivalent, one to five years of experience, strong computer skills are going to be great. Microsoft office and the ability to multitask, strong written and verbal communication experience, strong chat and call handling with active listening skills and familiarity with live chat, CRM quoting and portal systems. The ability to type a minimum of 40 minutes per minute. Wow, does this look like this is coming in handy? This was not planned either, guys. So definitely head to the type. If you want to apply to this job, feel free to use the typing test. See how fast you can type. Trying to get to it. Typically, guys, when they say minimum of 40 minutes per 40, 40 words per minute, trying to get to like 50 or 60. Most people are going to hit that bottom 40. So if you get, 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 you get that 50, 60, 70, you're going to put yourself. Uh, pretty high on their list of applicants they want to interview. Okay. And again, the salary range for this one, 36,000 to about 81,000 for this job. The good news guys is if, even if you start to, towards the lower end of the salary here, we do know that the salary band for this position can go up to 81,000. So you can negotiate further in your career. If you get into this job at the lower salary band and you have your uh, yearly review, you can make a, st- you can make the argument that you're performing well in the position and actually uh, ask for an increase in pay. All right, that'll be it for today, guys. 